Benny Avdia and Christoph Porzingis. Christoph Porzingis, guess what, buddy? He's staying in town, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> You're not as excited? He's having a career year. I'm not a Wizards fan. I, <laughs> I told you, you denied, you denied me all year saying, oh, he's not going to stay. He's not going to stay. All right, guess what? He's going to stay. Maybe. I mean, it hasn't happened yet. I think well, uh, Kristaps makes more sense to me. Well, I think Kuzma wants to be home, but his family likes his duration to Miami and London, and he's a big Kyle's fashion in, guy. Kuzma's he's gotta go, too. He's got to go to France to eat croissants and fashion shows, and, and DC gives him a perfect location for that. Kyle Kuzma has said he loves living there too <laughs> and that he wants to stay there and that he, it's a top 10 place to live in America. You, you say that. And nobody I'll else is going to give I'll go through 10 right now. I'll go but through no. 10 right now. All right. Miami. 21 points tonight. Chicago. Uh, yeah, on Phoenix. Your okay. Uh, I'll help you out there. Dallas. New York City. Texas. Austin, I mean. That's five. But there's no sit. There's no. There's Boise. no team in Austin. Boise. You're. You suck. Those aren't NBA you know, teams. You didn't. You didn't specify that. I didn't know these had to be NBA. Yeah, teams. top NBA teams. You to say live in. okay, but you say top ten city as if you're talking about the entire okay. America. So all the cities that's included. Okay, just stop hating on DC. But you've always just, said that. We're gonna talk right I here basketball. DC. What we're saying right here is the fact that we got ourselves. You know, Denny, Denny Avdi is looking like this double, double could be like a close to a double double guy in terms of being like a 15, 17 points per game guy, dishing out like five assists, three assists, seven rebounds. Sometimes has, you know, a double double, solid wing player. I think him, Kyle Kuzma, Christoph Porzingis, and Daniel Gafford fit work really well. And I think Bradley Beal should stay. But I made a video talking about this last night or this morning. I can't even remember. I think it was last night. But a lot of people commented, trade Bradley Beal. Like, <laughs> like most of the comments were like, yeah, keep Kyle Kuzma, keep Kristoff's, trade Beal. Like, most of the comments were, let's trade Beal. Let's trade Beal. Which I was like, what? Yeah. Your thoughts? Uh, I don't understand that. Um, it, it has to be purely contract related. Like, you know, imagine so Bradley Beal, 29 years old, you know, Bradley Beal's the guy, three time all star. This year, he's doing a great job at facilitating the basketball. We've seen that for the last five years of his NBA career. I think he's getting he they paid Bradley Beal like he was going to stay a 30 point per game scorer. The Washington Wizards made a classic mistake, just like the Chicago Bulls. But it hasn't happened to Zach Levine, and it, he was a little bit younger. But, like, they paid Bradley beyond what he did, not what he's going to do. And that's a classic mistake. So, what do you, how hard will trade it be to you, trade? Uh, I don't want to – I don't like the idea of trading the player, Bradley Beal, but, like, the contract, I – I mean, yeah, it's it's interesting, but that's not. I'm not focused on that right now. Not at 20. Trade Bradley Beal for Zach Levine. I want two first round. You know, picks. that's not a, like you know. Well, I don't know why you. Zach Levine's better than Bradley Beal, so let's no. Get that Bradley Beal's better than Zach Levine and way healthier. We're gonna fight. To what? Zach yes. How many All NBAs does Zach Levine have? Bradley Beal has played 60 games one time in the last four years, and he played in that one time 60 games. Let's should, should we play a quick game of what is right. about Zach Levine? All right, sure, we'll play a fun game of Zach Levine. Zach Levine in the last four years has played over 60 games three times, and the one year he didn't, he played 58. So I, that doesn't win shares, make, baby. There's no win there. share. Win shares. Well, you just now you're well now now it's okay. So you're wrong on the other one. Win shares. Uh, I'll probably still no. I don't have the stat, but probably no. Zach, Zach Levine's Levine. better than Bradley Beal. Okay, let's just talk about the Wizards here. Zach though. Levine, his words, best on-ball defender in the NBA. One of the keeping Kristaps and Denny Avdia. Will it help 
No, not Danny Abdia. Christoph, Kyle Kuzma, Danny Abdia, Corey Kesper, Bradley Beal, Danny Gafford. That's the core. Throw Monte Morris and DeLon right, right there. You got like seven, eight guys right there. I feel like we, we throw around the word core a little bit too loosely, but... What What are you going to tell this core? You core. got your stuff. I'm, when I'm thinking of the... We just need a point Excuse guard. Me. I'm thinking of their backup. core. I'm thinking Bradley Beal, Avida, uh, yeah, KP, Kuz... Gafford's expendable. Monty's expendable. Delon's of course, extremely okay. expendable. All those guys are expendable, but those those guys in Gafford, Wright, Morris, great bench guys. If you yeah, have, they, yeah. if you get me, you go out there, and for example, D'Angelo Russell. I don't know if Russell would be a good fit. Maybe let's say somehow Mike Conley becomes available. You throw Mike Conley right there. Monty Morris off the bench with Delon Wright as well. Bradley Beal, Mike Conley. Denny Avdia, Kyle Kuzma, Christoph Porzingis. Then your bench is now Corey Kespert, DeLon Wright, Monte Morris, Gafford, and Corey Kespert. That's that's yeah. not a bad 10-guy rotation right there. I like I like the Conley one a lot. I'm thinking even, you know, I think Gafford's more suited for like a complimentary role unless he were to be able to stay healthy or you know, I don't, I don't need him to take a leap, but I'm thinking, you know, what if you paired a, a, you know, a reasonably priced Clint Capella with him, and you have them go interchangeably, and you give them both 25 a night. Uh, but yeah, you're right, definitely. A guy like Mike Conley would would help this team so much. I just think Formal a defense. Wednesday. I think they it needs to be a defensive first guard. It, it's got to be. You know, obviously, I would love if they could go out and get themselves. Like, I like I would hate for them. Not that I would hate, but, like, Colin Sexton and D'Angelo Russell are not the players they need. They don't need more scores. They need, you yeah. know, a defensive guy, a better per, a player, a better version of DeLon Wright. And that's obviously a Drew Holiday-esque player. But, like, there's not many of those. And the ones that there are, they're not really tradable. And Dare yeah, like, I say Tyus Jones? We've talked about that. We've talked about how much I would love Tyus, Tyus Jones. Jones. On all three uh, teams in oh my God. Tyus Jones is one of those NBA players <laughs> that you just throw him there and you're just like seamless. You know, a way that I could see this maybe work if they kept the long right in Monte Morris, he's a bit overpaid, but he kind of works. It would just be chaos, but like it would be like good chaos. And that's kind of his thing. Derek White, if they had a Derek White, Monte Morris, the long right rotation, I would kind of have faith in that point guard by committee. Yeah, uh, you know, Derek White isn't too bad because they don't need that scoring. You know, Derek White shot some nights. Can this, not, not but his defense and yeah, his yeah. hustle and, like, what he yeah. brings, he would, be, he would be the starter. Then you would bring Monte Morris to be, like, the more, like, level-headed guy, scoring guy. And then you'd have DeLon Wright as, like, the other defensive hound who can also play shooting guard. DeJounte Murray, before he turned into a star, would have been perfect. <laughs> but now, yeah, it's... The ships unfortunately sailed big J on unless you're talking about uh Jamal. I think he they don't need the I don't need a 20. It's gonna be too pricey to get a 20 guy. I don't think they'd be able to keep the same depth. Yeah, no, I agree. It's it's definitely I think the pieces Marine to be the pieces to be competitive again are th are there. It's just can they execute and take advantage and do it correctly and get out of this like play in paradox they've been in the last few seasons? Do you agree with me? Like they have the guys like we've talked about Corey Kesper, Denny Abdia, Kyle Kuzma, Bradley Beal, and Christoph Porzingis. I agree with you. The rest of the players are expendable, but there are a couple of those guys in DeLon Wright, Monte Morris, Gafford. That would be good rotational role players if you can bring in better starters. Or better yeah, it just comes down to price. Um, I think, and by the way, it's been more than a couple of seasons, but yeah. You're right. Don't hate. Well, All right. Let's talk about a, a team right here. 